Hey, Bud back here again. One thing you've noticed is that I'm uh, more mechanical. I do not have a background in electronics at all. All of the stuff that you see here was learned by studying and reading about the SG and listening and talking to people at the uh, energy conference. I was there two years ago. Uh, I have made this my study right now to learn electronics. I have my son's old college book sitting over here on the table. I read as much as I can on this thing. I try to study electronics. But as you can see, most of my stuff is mechanical in nature. I am a tool and die engineer and uh, a tool and die maker. I've been in my industry for 46 years. I'm 60 years old. Uh, that started. I started when I was very, very young. But I get this stuff. This is a God-given talent. Much uh, what I what I do for a living is I take blueprints and design progressive dies from those blueprints. And we're very, very highly sought after in, in our field of engineering and expertise. As you can see, uh, all of the stuff that I saw that I built here is. Uh, was a dream of mine from my inside of my mind. I actually visualized this whole machine and build it as I saw. All I needed to do was make a few sketches to help me along. But not a whole lot different than Tesla, only on a much different scale. I don't know electronics. I don't know how to build print circuit boards. I don't know a whole lot about it yet, but I am, that's gonna be my next field of study on my own here. So I have two oscilloscopes, I have books, I have meters, and I'm teaching myself uh, as fast as I can. So, and this is a culmination of my work. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, here we are at the machine. We're getting ready to fire this thing up so you can take a look at it. Let me show you the input battery here right now. We are showing 1274, all right? And those leads run right down here to this big battery on the floor right here. And if you notice, we have some extra large clips on this guy. These, guy. these are real serious clips, so I can get some really serious input. I want to make sure I can maximize the power going into this machine. And I've got plenty of cable to do it with. One-handed cameraman again here. Now here's the secondary coming off right here. Secondary comes off right here goes by this insulator. It's just a big insulator. Don't let this fool you here. This is, now I can follow the leads down here, and we're going over here to a pair of L16 batteries. These guys are about two or three times the size of that battery on the floor. There's the L16s, and we're showing right now 1296. Now let me go ahead and start this thing up, and we'll show you what's going. All right, to start this thing up, is, it's gonna be rather simple here. I'm going to grab a hold of this thing and give it a turn. All right, now, right now it's just idling. So I'm going to turn the power on here. That's one. That's two. Now the machine will run with two. All right. That's interesting in itself. It's running all by itself right now with two. Here's the voltage. 12, 66 right now. And it is, you can bet, over there it's reading, you can't read it from here, but I can read it, it says 1298 right now. It may have been there when we started. Let me go ahead and turn the rest of these guys on. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Notice the RPM going up. Eight, nine, and 10. Notice the load on this guy. We're dropped here down to uh, 1248, something like that. And we're gonna run over here and take a look at the output on this thing now. We are showing There's seven, so it's going up pretty quickly on these two giant batteries. Let me even put my hand up here so you can see how big these batteries are. Uh, the battery, the bottom of the battery is clear down to here, and so you know, an L16 is a is quite a large battery. 
Uh, I've got a pair of them. These are six volters, and they're series, so I'm charging two batteries at the same time. Positive leads here, negative lead is all the way back here. And I've got them seriesed up right now, and we're having no trouble going to 1310 right now. There's 1311. Here's the machine running. And uh, so we were just over there, we're at 1312 right now on the uh, L16s. And uh, one of the problems, I know what you guys are all thinking, that I don't have very much RPM on this thing, and I don't. There isn't a lot of RPM, because there is one heck of a lot of wind resistance. Whoops, I gotta show you my hand here. There's a lot of wind resistance that's going right by my hand right now. Because this is all open, it's like a giant fan in here. So I have a tremendous amount of wind resistance uh, going on with all the sandwiches in there. But, uh, you know, so, so we got some wind resistance. I'll work on that later. Um, but you can hear that there's very little, there's a little bit of magnet noise. The super poles are not glued together. They're uh, pressed into those sandwiches and they have a tendency to push apart a little bit. So uh, we're, we're, this is kind of an experimental deal right now. So I don't know all the details about this, but uh, here's that 10 coiler running. Looks pretty good. Here is a quick scope shot how those transistors are firing. As you can see, I've got a double firing going on right now. I don't know how close I can zoom in and you can still see it. I guess you can still see it at this, this area right here. It is firing twice, but uh, I'll be working on that. This is a this is the, actually the first day I've had this thing running, but you can see the high voltage spikes jumping way up above this thing. It's a perfect H pattern, just like John drew it on the board. It couldn't be any better. One thing else I wanted to note about the machine. When I take and put my hands behind a trigger mounting angle iron, which is aluminum, which has an excellent heat thermal trans transmission, trans transmitting capabilities, there is no heat on that backside whatsoever. If I put my hand, the back of my finger, a negative energy bus bar, it's ice cold. These lead up to the, the, the main bus. This thing is ice cold. And, and I know it's winter here in Ohio, but I'm telling you what, when you compare the, the temperature of this bus to this bus, there's a big difference. This baby is cold. This is the one that goes out. If I go to any of these, if I go to any of these guys, put my hand behind here, these guys are ice cold. This guy's ice cold. This lead's ice cold. This lead right here is ice cold. I mean, everything on this thing is, 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 is cool to the touch. And we have nothing, there are no hot spots on this machine whatsoever. Even though we have a double firing going on the transistors, I'm more than impressed with this machine.